Today, I'm going to explain some uh, characters uh, related with sheep, young of goat. Uh, it is very interesting. I told you that Chinese characters are telling the story of the Bible, and I have more evidence. Um, this one, I'll show you the yang. Yang is just a picture of a uh, yang, uh, yeah, like the horns, uh, and then that's the face. Yeah, I, I also said the Chinese characters are the most abstract uh, art uh, of the world, <laughs> and it is, uh, it is you call it um, some of people call it uh, call it modern, uh, modern art, but Chinese characters are very old, thousands of years. This is uh, Yang. Okay, if you look at the uh, the uh, the sheep of the goat, you will see you will see the essence uh, of uh, this character. This Yang. There are many characters uh, related. Uh, uh, with yang, this pronunciation yi, ang, yang, signal, okay, and uh, in a Zhuyun way, that is yi, ang, yang, okay, and another character uh, here, the story of the Bible story. Some of the people uh, are even some of scientists even uh, think that uh, Chinese, one of the Chinese uh, minority, are the, are the descendants of the uh, Jewish people. Uh, that is, uh, this this group, Qiang, uh, this is Yang, above, you say that uh, here is a child, child, uh, the child, the boy who is taking care of the, of the group sheep. And this the minority in China, and there's a qiang, you pronounce it as qi, yi, ang, qiang. Uh, the yang part is also for the pronunciation. So it looks like this yang, this qiang, qi, yi, ang, uh, sorry, qi, yi, ang, ang. Okay, uh, like this, in Zhu Yin Wei. Okay, and then another character is a surname. There is a Mm, also a yang above, okay, uh, so the ink, I uh, need to get used to this ink. Uh, here is a woman, I told you this one is a woman last time. Okay, uh, this, the, the woman, the girl of the uh, young people uh, means that uh, this woman of the young people there is a pronunciation, a pronunciation as jiang, ji yi ang, jiang. Okay, ji yi ang, jiang. The second, uh, the first tone, and ji, ji yi ang, jiang. Okay, there's a very famous uh, surname of Chinese. Uh, people think they are the this uh, descendant of the uh, of the Jewish. And uh, one of the legendary Chinese uh, uh, people, his name is Jiang Ziya. Okay, it's this Jiang. Um, and another, which is this one, uh, beauty, beautiful. Yeah, you have, you need a here and Yang. Okay, uh, Yang. And here, there is a, a Da. Okay, big and big, a big Yang. Okay. Uh, da yang, uh, it is uh, uh, built, beauty, mei, you pronounce it as mei, mei, the third tone, and in the Zhu Yun way, mei, like this, mei, mm, mei, third tone. So, a big sheep, a big goat, is very beautiful because a sheep is soft, is gentle. And it is also the most beautiful offer to God, okay? Uh, that is uh, beauty. And down further, you will get this one. Uh, this one is 
also very interesting character. That is a young, okay? Uh, it's a sheep. The uh, under is actually um, wo, that is means me or I, okay? Uh, so uh, me, I offer myself uh, to God uh, as uh, as a as a sheep, uh, okay? Uh, so that is uh, means righteousness, righteousness, yeah. And uh, this part is a uh, war, the under part means war. Uh, here is some kind of weapon. Uh, next time I will explain more the Chinese character war, which is very interesting, very philosophical, almost the Greeks. Uh, so uh, your enemy means your enemy. My enemy is myself. Your enemy is yourself. The one who can defeat uh, yourself. Uh, so uh, you will you will become uh, yourself. So that is yi. Uh, uh, next time I will explain more. Uh, yi, okay, means righteousness. Yi, okay, um, and then the next one is related to this. So yi. Yang, you have the also again, Yang, and you have this Yi again, but this one you have something extra, extras. So here, so you see, this is shorter, and I put some extras here, like this. And this, you pronounce it as Xi, uh, Xi, this is Yi, this is Xi, the first one, Xi, Yi, Xi, uh, okay. This is uh, uh, so the righteousness, the light of righteousness is like the uh, the sunshine. Sunshine actually it also means the sunshine, and it's also the name of a Chinese godlike father, go, uh, like uh, god godfather, godly father. His name is Fu Xi, almost uh, uh, the position of uh, Zeus uh, in the Greek myth uh, uh, mythology. And for the Greeks, maybe they, they think it's a um, mythology, but for the Chinese, uh, Chinese people, the uh, history began with uh, uh, Fu Xi, and He was really a person, uh, Fu Xi, okay? That is Xi. Another interesting with Yang, this, uh, that is kind. This is very interesting, really amazing, is Yang. But you write it in this way, it is related to mouse. Yes, I told you this one is a mouse, okay? Actually, when you look at this character, it's not only a head of a young, but also it's a face of a person. So the, uh, the, the nose, the, the eyebrows and the eyes, everything, the nose, and then the, the, uh, the lines uh, um, above the uh, mouth. Uh, it's a smiling face, gentle, smiling face, and uh, the mouth is talking. That means kind, it means kind. So my understanding is the kindness is the way of attitude, how you talk about things. It's the speech cultivation uh, in Chinese, uh, yeah, and called that speech cultivation. You may say everything, but the intention, the tone, the intonation, the way you are talking, uh, that is, uh, uh, if it is positive, it is a good, uh, nice way, a nice intention, intention. That is a shan, shi an shan shan. Talk means really talk in a good, um, uh, with a good intention, that is a kindness. Shi an shan shan. And another word which is very interesting, this one is not related with yang but with mouth. I've told you this is almost a, a sort of grass also or sort of sprouts on on the tree in the in the in the uh, spring you will see that when the trees, the flower, flowers are beginning to grow, you will see that. Uh, and sprouts. And this is also related with a mouth. Okay? Uh, so here, 
uh, if you look at this character, actually you will see uh, it's also a face. It's not so nicely a laughing face, but it's a crying face. Yeah, it is a crying, very bitter, uh, a big problem, a very sad face. Face. Okay, that is ku, ke wu ku, ku, ke 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 wu ku. I hope it is so in the in the Zhuyun way. Mm, ku. Okay, and ku means uh, uh, suffering, um, suffering. Okay, bitter suffering. Uh, that, that is a very, very important uh, ideas in the Chinese culture, how to be a human. The whole life actually is uh, suffering. And so I also told you about mouse. Mouse is to eat, to drink, and to talk. But literally in the Chinese, you have eat the bitter, bitter, eat the bitterness. Eat the bitterness, 吃苦, and another is 吃亏. Kui is um, uh, when uh, other people take advantage of you and uh, you just uh, need to be happy. <laughs> okay, it is almost the idea of uh, uh, Jesus Christ. When somebody uh, smash on your right face, turn your left face to, to him and uh, let him uh, uh, smash the other, <laughs> another face. That's 吃苦. And chukui. Uh, okay, that's for today. Thank you.